Hey everybody, I'm Mike Thompson. I built the CFI course here at the Epic Flight Academy. And with the help of many talented colleagues together, we have made it the go-to course for those looking to earn the FAA Flight Instructor Certificate. In addition to teaching this course, I wrote the book, Telling is Not Teaching, the Flight Instructor's Handbook. You can find it at amazon.com. The book is built around the idea that effective flight instruction is based on a solid relationship between the instructor and the student. Now, if you think about it, effective teaching of any kind in any subject relies upon a good relationship between the teacher and the student. Telling is Not Teaching was designed to parallel the FAA's Aviation Instructor Handbook 8083-9A. In the Aviation Instructor Handbook 9A and in my book, the first three chapters discuss educational psychology, the next three discuss instructional design, and the final three chapters address the flight instructor profession and responsibilities in general. In later versions of the FAA's handbook, you may notice the chapter numbers change. However, the chapter content should remain essentially the same. Now, in this series of videos, when we refer to Telling is Not Teaching chapters, you'll see that the chapter title still parallels the FAA's, even if the FAA chapter number has changed. So please join me as I discuss each of the nine chapters. I hope you find the book enlightening and I sincerely hope it helps you develop as a teacher. Today, I'd like to introduce you to chapter one in Telling is Not Teaching. So how do you approach teaching? Do you feel that it's just a one-way exchange? Are you of the thinking that the teacher gives and the learner receives and, well, that's the process? That the process is just information dissemination? My approach to teaching is that it is an interaction that requires care. Caring about the person who is trying to learn. Teaching is a caring gift and gifts are not a one-way exchange. In order to give a gift, someone has to graciously receive it. Gifts are a two-way exchange. Have you ever been in a learning situation where the teacher was just talking at you and you felt as though that content was coming at you like water through a fire hose? And then afterward, it was apparent that you didn't quite understand it fully, if at all, and you heard these words. Well, I told you. Well, in chapter one, we explore this idea in a little more detail. The idea is that to teach, it is more than to just disseminate information. In Telling is Not Teaching, I uncover the idea that this two-way gift between the teacher and the learner requires time and it requires care. In other words, it requires a relationship in order to be effective. Now, any teacher who is skilled at this understands that they are continually learning and improving and so find themselves as much a learner as a teacher. And this is remarkable. When the teacher is striving to continually improve, then the focus shifts from the teacher telling to a learner-centered approach. And this is where real teaching takes place. In chapter one, I explore these ideas and I invite you to join me. When a teacher discovers that teaching and learning is truly a gift exchange, they realize it can only happen when one cares about the learner. The teacher discovers the importance of motivation to the learner and is interested in that learner and what truly motivates them. Would you like to discover more about learner motivation? teaching as caring, learner-centered teaching, and the gift exchange of teaching and learning. 
join me in exploring these ideas further. At the end of the chapter, challenge yourself with the activities shown there. Find Telling is Not Teaching at Amazon.com.